Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Q and this is the guru of you TV show empowering you to become the guru of your own life at theguruofyou.com and I would like to start off by saying hello and extending a warm welcome to all of the new subscribers of this channel. Since the last time that I posted a video there have been several new subscribers so hello and welcome to you. Today I would like to talk about something that is very, very near and dear to my heart that is a very important subject to me. It is a subject that has helped me immensely on my path to grow as an individual and to grow as a person and is so, so important and the subject is investing in you. Normally, when we think of the word investment, we think of investing money into a business or into a property, um, a real estate property, or into different things that have to do with money and have to do with business. Because that's what we're taught in school. From the moment we, go, we get into school, people ask us, so what do you want to be when you grow up? and they begin to program us and train us to live in a capitalistic world. Well, one day I went to a class and the person asked me, what would it be like to invest in you? And at that time, I wasn't sure what that meant exactly. I thought like, okay, where do I put the money to invest in me, right? And is there some kind of interest that I'm gonna earn? That's the first thing that went through my mind. But when I asked him, what do you mean? He told me basically what I'm going to tell you today. And in addition to what I learned, I'm going to add, in addition to what I learned from the teacher, I'm also going to add what I've learned from my own experience in this as well. So let me ask you, what would it be like to be willing to openly invest in yourself. Now what does that mean, investing in yourself? This can be different for almost everybody. There are some things that we can invest in that, in that everybody can um, grow from it, but for certain people there might be some things that they consider an investment in them that another person wouldn't. For example, an investment in you can be something like getting a massage every single month, or every week, or every couple of weeks. Whatever you would consider an investment in you. Now the important thing is about uh, investing in you is that it must be something that feeds your soul. It must be something that you do, or you buy, or or anything that makes you feel like you have given yourself a gift, makes you feel like you are worthy and worth investing in yourself. Um, here's an example of a, a way that I recently, actually um, today and yesterday, have invested in myself. I do. I I don't go to. Um, I don't go out much. I don't really um, go to clubs or bars. I don't drink alcohol. I don't go to the movies much. Um, I don't buy a lot of fancy clothes or have a fancy car. I don't um, seem to and choose to invest in those type of things. I'm more of the type of person that um, I'd rather stay home most of the time and enjoy myself here and meditate and do yoga and that kind of thing. So one way that I invested in myself recently was I spent $150 and purchased myself a month long unlimited pass to go to Bikram Yoga. I personally love to do yoga, any kind of yoga, even if I'm not in a class just stretching at home. Um, it really feeds my soul. It makes my body feel good. It makes my being feel good. 
it makes me look better, it makes me feel better. So that's one way that I invested in myself. Now, when I first went, um, when the thought first came to my mind, okay, let's start doing Bikram yoga again, because I haven't done it in about almost a, about a year now, maybe like six or eight months, but somewhere around there. And when the thought came to my mind, let's go do yoga, I was like hesitant to spend the $150 for the unlimited pass. But then I remembered investing in you. I used to go to out a lot. I used to go to bars and clubs all the time. And I would very frequently spend anywhere from $50 to $250 sometimes on one night just buying drinks for myself for my friends, for women that I would meet, and when you start drinking, sometimes you lose control and just start splurging, and I did that a lot, actually. I went through se several years when I thought that was going to make me happy. I thought that was a cool thing to do, and I was kind of going along with what everybody else was doing, and... I used to spend a lot of money all the time on things that were were not really an investment in me. Although, of course, those those things that happened led me to where I am now. So, realistically, looking at it from the highest level, it, that was an investment in me because it led me to where I am. But But it's not like it is now where I can spend money on something and it truly nourishes my soul. It wasn't, um, an in back then it was an investment to lead me to my awakening. But now that I've had an awakening, it's different because you're more conscious and more aware of the possibilities that will come of the choices that you make. So I went ahead and uh, purchased the Bikram Yoga month long pass and it was $150. And um, I've been going to the class for the last two days, and I feel so wonderful. I'm not sure if you're familiar with what Bikram yoga is, but it's a hot yoga, and it's very, very intense. It's a 90-minute class, and um, it's it can be very, very intense. And during the class, sometimes you really feel like you, you're going to die sometimes because it's so intense and hot and there's so much toxins that are leaving your body. But after the class, you feel so, so wonderful. And once you get through the first few classes, it's much, much easier. So that was one way that I invested in me. And for $150, the amount of growth... The amount of love I feel because of going to the, these classes is not even comparable to the money that I used to spend on, for example, drinking. When I used to go out and drink, it would be, you know, a little kind of fun during, during the uh, time when I was at the bar and with my friends and meeting people. That was kind of fun, but the next morning... I would always wake up with a huge hangover, feel like really like crap, and it would take like two or three days to get back into the flow of things. And I didn't even realize how long it took me to get back in the flow of things back then, but now when I look back, I can see, wow, it did take a few days to actually recover from all of that. So that's one way that I invest in myself. Another way I choose to invest in myself is to provide myself with organic, freshly squeezed juices. And if you know me, if you've been watching my videos, you know how much I love juice and juice feasting and all that. Now, investing in you doesn't only have to be spending money or like something you have to spend a lot of money on. For example, it doesn't cost that much to make a jar of juice, maybe a few few dollars. But I, it's not just a money investment, it's an investment of time. It's an investment of willingness. It's an investment of being patient enough and not being lazy 
to go and purchase the organic vegetables and wash them and juice them and to clean the juicer. It's a whole ordeal. And those of you who juice, you know that um, it takes a little, bit of, a little bit of effort to juice, especially if you do it regularly. But out of everything in this whole entire world, this stuff right here is the most powerful way for me to grow as a being, to heal and to feel good and to be at optimal health. So much so that I dedicate a lot of my time encouraging people to make themselves juice because I know the power of it, especially if you're on a spiritual path and you're looking to grow your uh, consciously and become more conscious. There is a magical property in juice that is so powerful in healing and to creating more awareness. It's truly magical. What this is in here So delicious. What's in here is carrot, green apple, cucumber, celery, ginger, beets, collard greens, and kale. It's pretty sweet. Oranges, too. There's some oranges in here. It's super, super delicious. In the morning, I make green juice that's straight vegetables, no, nothing in there that's sweet. And then towards the end of the day, I balance it out with some kind of sweet juice. But back to investing in you. What would you, what would make your soul happy? What can you do that doesn't even have to be uh, expensive or cost a lot of money but what can you do in your life that would make you feel like you're investing in you it can be different for everybody I choose to invest in me by drinking juices doing yoga this crystal you see here there's a really cool story behind this crystal in a very short nutshell, I've had this crystal, it's an amethyst crystal, and it also has some other crystals growing in it. There's a citrite, or I think it's called citrine, I'm not sure. There's a couple other ones that are growing on it as well. But a quick story about this, another way that I invested in me that opened up doors in my life that I had no idea was going to happen. About five years ago... I went to a crystal dealer because I was felt drawn to having a crystal and I wasn't sure why but I felt it intuitively and in my heart and I followed it at the time I only had about maybe four or five thousand dollars in the bank that's all I had that was my life savings I had just graduated from from college and I got a job somewhere and I managed to save some money and I had just started my own business and I didn't have a lot of money and I had a lot of expenses so I had to be careful but I went to the crystal dealer and I looked at over a hundred crystals this is the only one that resonated with me and the cost was fourteen hundred dollars that's a that's a lot considering that I only had about four or five thousand dollars at the time and it was difficult to make the choice but I did it because I felt that I felt something told me to get this crystal and I did and I brought it home and it also came with some some other smaller amethyst crystals as well and I brought it home and from the moment that this crystal came into my life my life has expanded exponentially in all directions my business became successful my spiritual wisdom that comes from source 
that comes through me heightened. I became more sensitive. Things just started happening. And I'm not saying it's only because of the crystal, but somehow it provided an energy to my life that was required for me to move into the next level, next chapter of my life. And and I'm very grateful and happy that I bought this crystal and I never regretted it ever. So what is it that you can do? What is it that you can buy or where you can go or classes that you can take or trips that you can take? Anything that you can do, that you can afford, that works for you now, that would be an investment in you. And again, it doesn't have to cost money. An investment in you can be a commitment to take a walk every day. It could be a commitment to take a walk on the beach once a week. That doesn't cost any money. Maybe a little bit to for your gas and stuff, but it's minimal. Maybe it's buying a new book every week. Maybe it's getting a massage every week. I love getting massages. I need to get more massages. I, I, I don't get enough. So maybe that's one way I'll continue to invest in me. The thing is that every time you invest in you, by doing something you love, it adds an energy to your life that helps you and empowers you and inspires you to grow, to become a better version of yourself, to evolve into the next chapter of who you can become and what's in store for you on your journey. So let me look and see if there's anything else that I would like to say about this. Now I think I've covered it all. You're worth it. You deserve it. You deserve to be happy. There is actually one more thing I'd like to cover. That, remember, when you go to work in the morning, you're investing your time, you're giving your time, and yourself, and your existence, really, to your employer in exchange for a salary, for a wage, for money. And that's great. We all need to earn a living. But what would it be like just the same way you're willing to invest your time and give yourself to a company or to a cause to earn a living, what would it be like to be willing to make that same type of investment with the same type of urgency and commitment and need and to do it for you? It's really not fair to us to work so hard for other people and never give something back to ourselves. It's really not fair to us as an individual. So I encourage you, after you watch this video, or whenever you feel like it, to take out a piece of paper, a pad of paper, not on the computer, on a physical sheet of paper with a pen. Sit on your kitchen table or wherever and write down a list of things that you feel would be an investment in you. And don't hold anything back. Don't not write it because um, it costs a lot of money or you can't afford it right now. Put it out there in the universe. Write it on paper. You want to go on a trip to Spain? You want to go to Europe? You want to go to Greece? You want to... anything. You want to go to a concert? You want to ride a horse? You want to drive a race car? Anything. Anything that makes, anything that comes to you that's in your heart. Anything that applies to your own journey. Write it all down and just take a look at it and see which ones you can apply to your life now. 
and put it out there in the universe that the things that you can't afford or it's just not possible now put it out there in the universe that you'd like it to be possible and you're willing for it to come to your life sooner or later it will it will because the universe loves you the universe wants to give to you anything that you're willing to receive especially if it provides growth to you as a being that's what the universe wants it wants everything to grow and evolve that's what it's doing that's its purpose or one of its purposes so thank you so much for watching this video just by just by watching this this, uh, this video and taking the time to watch this video that's an investment in you. So once again, my name is Q, and this is the guru of you TV show, empowering you to become the guru of your own life at theguruofyou.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.